Hi there guys and welcome back to another Chris's Gaming Channel. Unfortunately the web camera is still playing up so we're going to have to proceed without it. So we're back on Hogwarts Legend tonight. But unfortunately there is no web camera because it is still playing up with this game. So do apologise on that, you can't see me, but you can still hear me, which is good. So we're going to continue where we left off from last time. Uh, as we done last time, we did the Defence Against the Dark's Arts first lesson, and then we did Charms. So now we're going back now, we will probably have some assignments from the both classes to attempt. So, just get myself comfortable, and then uh, we are going to start. So, we'll be starting in a couple of seconds now. Just have a quick drink, and uh, we'll get going. Right, so my control pad wants to uh, waken up. Okay. So, back to Hogwarts we go. So, if you are messaging me on Facebook, uh, it hopefully will come through on the screen and hopefully it will come through on my little tab. Still trying to get that fixed, but most like I said, the other games we play, especially Euro Truck and Train Simulator, web camera works on their A1. I just don't know why they don't work on these uh, new particular games. Okay, so I got to report to Prof Professor Roden. Okay, that's working on the screen. Right. Uh, there he is. Ah, there you are. Uh, yeah, here I am. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an <coughs> exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Oh, Fixes repero. things right up. God. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Hmm, okay. Fair point. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Nice one, we start learning some uh, this is the right area. more spells to defend myself. I wonder myself. where the flying page is. And it's somewhere. It was over by the professor. There it is. I knew it was there. Lumos. No. Let me hear so. No. Accio. Oh, tell me to go over here.
right? So we're in this area. That's me to No, it's not. Lumos. Let's talk back to him again. Professor, why must I complete these tasks? They are meant to give you first-hand experience as you proceed to master new bits of magic. Mm, okay. Good luck, and I shall see you soon. Well, that's no bloody good. Right, so here, yeah, so what we got to try and do? Got to try and catch the paper, got to try and destroy it. They haven't really given me much information what to do. Revelio. Protego! I should remember this from what I done before. Lumos. Accio. Revelio. Levioso. Right. That's one thing we've got. Right, what's next? There's some of around this area though. Revelio. There's something else around here. There's the paper, but how do we get it? That's the first clue by there. Revelio. Oh, it looks like we've got to put that back together then. Protego! Levioso! Lumos! Oh, this is still uh, fun. Oh, we've got the one bit of paper. Revelio! Rebellion. We'll try and get <laughs> some out. Should have really watched a YouTube video of this work because I got no idea. <laughs> Alright, so using Rebellion. Revelio. I've got no idea you get him. Oh, we've got to shoot it or something.
Rebellion. Right, now the game throws. Protego! Kill to Akio. Okay. Rebellion! Lumos! Levioso! Akio! Alright, cheers Caitlin. Right. Where we go next? A flying page must be around here somewhere. Alright, so we'll use Akio again. Rebellion! Oh, come on, graphics, don't play up tonight. Potato! Action! No problem, cheers. Right. Back to the professor now. I trust the preliminary tasks were. I completed the assignments, professor. Marvellous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember yeah, to be do. deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. This mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too. Repel it and catch it out. Nice. Okay, what assignment is next? Okay. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsfeet. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Hmm, okay. Where's the pub?
was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. No, nor did I. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Look! From the forbidden forest! Hippogriffs! I wonder if something started there. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Absolutely. That's a forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, <coughs> since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. I'm getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Oh, Hello, Mr. Moon. Huh? Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes be a saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys. Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. Well a demigod. I think he had too much fun in the village. Oh, I must say that I have never seen him in such a state. Merely there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweets you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Mm, lovely. 
Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience helps meet at your own pace. We can meet up in the time circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Yep, see you soon. Alright, so where we gotta go to in Hogsmeade? So, first of all, we gotta go to Ollivander's. Is it? Hmm, <coughs> <coughs> hello, Hamora. I want that spell. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerald Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah. Yes, yes, hmm, powerful core, ten and a half inches, hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, mm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. That's Lucy and Mouth Voice. Ah, Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. You might be the one. Here, take it. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. 
and the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. <laughs> Cheers. Right, what is next? So let's just go back inside. <coughs> Pretty sure we will win the potions next. Yep, potions and magic nap, and then uh, found the souls. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. Oh, cracking. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Oh, Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Mm -hmm, but for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yes, please. What can <coughs> I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Lovely. You know, I'll buy more. Okay, next we gotta go to. Let's see. I get it already highlighted on the lander's turn. Nope. So we don't potions. Two seconds. <laughs> right, so what are we going to do now? Over there. Nope. Let me go try and take a shortcut. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting on warts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. 
Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, The Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way inside now, can I? No, nope. I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a package of dipping seeds? Oh, yes. Let me guess. Please. You're after something fresh. Lovely. That's what we need. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Hmm, maybe next time. Okay, so then so where is that to? Okay, last place to go to. And the graphics would start playing up a bit when they <coughs> Pardon me. Now I know how to use it now. Protego! Oops. Right, that one's slipped then. Alright. What are we getting here? Mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. Oh, I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able so to too. grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Yeah, maybe next time, Professor. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Right. <coughs> Where is she to? Bet she's in the pub. Oh, she's graphics is not I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favourite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one.
was trying to beat him his own day. Troll, did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer, and thank you, again. Right. Repairer! Speak to the shopkeeper. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. 
<laughs> Frankly, you deserve an order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. <coughs> I own Gladrags, Wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Lovely. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Wonderful. Just stand this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to... Alright. Follow her to the pub. I think I'm gonna give myself a pint of second. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. As if we have a point. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Van Rock is working with <coughs> Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gog. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. <coughs> Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, that's timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. 
My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come to the office. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Yeah, you're right there. They remind me of one particular person. They remind me of Voldemort. That's if we don't get ambushed on the way back. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Okay, you must return to the common room uh, for the night, access the map. Okay. <coughs> Lovely, so we're now going to evaporate and then turn back into Hogwarts. Right, I'm just going to save it here a minute. Just in case that uh, we lose connection on the stream. Okay. <coughs> right, I'm going to take a quick break a minute. Uh, it's a little bit warm in my room here, so I'm going to put the fan on and give myself a drink to uh, stop me from coughing. So. I will see you guys in about uh, five minutes, okay? See you soon.
Right, okay, I'm back. I'll get rid of the screen now. So I've just currently saved, uh, just in case, like I said, uh, we have a power cut or the stream decides to uh, go bye bye and reconnect. And then I end up, or basically, the game crashes and I lose my uh, current data. Right, so now I'm back on here a minute. I'm just going to go on there now and turn that off. Because for some reason, on my chat box, I don't know why, it it should come on the screen and it should disappear, but it's not. But if anyone knows how to fix that, please let me know, because it would be very helpful, as there's no help on the internet for it at all. I've looked, and nothing explains and fixes it properly. Also, Lewis, if you are still watching, thanks for the like. The sound hasn't come through again on the alarm box. So, I'm just going to quickly check and see if it does come through. Yep. Find the gap between the train and the platform. Right, that's come through now. So, at least that is now working. So, if you are still watching, Lewis, I was just to repeat to see if it was. But, thanks for the like. Right, let's go back to Hogwarts. Okay, open the field guide. Uh, come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket. Found it. Uh, Right, so we found something. Okay. <coughs> Let's go and talk to the professor. We go down or up? I believe we have to go up. So can't wait to learn how to open stuff. So I can get it. Accio. Nope. We'll try it again. At some point we'll get it eventually. I rub all down. Protection! 
Trigger! Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Renrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons of the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. <coughs> I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Okay, I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. I thought you can't get a date. <laughs> ah, I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire making Ooh, spell, lovely. handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs. And, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. Incendio. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Lovely. <coughs> you know where to find me once you've finished. I do, Professor. I'll be right back. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Some kind of soul help me. 
Maybe later. Nope. Can't get that book. So I'm just practicing. We're gonna get a book when we need it eventually. Glad you could make it. Luke is just over there. Lumos. Let me repair. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must, must have really, really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to lighten things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fire <coughs> begin! <coughs> we'll make you regret signing up. ahead but keep this up and you could be the next school champion brilliant count me in i shall in fact the second jewel is ready when you are and as a fully initiated member you now have access to the official crossed ones training dummy very good way to master spell combinations come and see me and i'll set it up again congratulations on your first crossed ones victory well fought hope to see you back here again Back. 
Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Cross the Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Is she there though? Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. <coughs> the next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Okay. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Alright, let's go. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to start <coughs> practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. That was something. Let me go. Akio. Lumos. Next time, perhaps. Repair. Akio. Keep trying. Repair. You'll get it. Repair. 
This is not as easy as it looks. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Time to head back. Well, that was fun. Wrong way again. Two cookies simply because you had one victory of Sano. Oh, whatever. If only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. Yeah, you sure can't get a date, can you? I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, yes, Professor. Please. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate. And keep your wand steady. Senor. skills. Yeah. Repair. 
kill. Potato! Rebellion. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule... Your schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed <coughs> whatever toils I must endure. Rebellion. Incendio. Incendio. Where do I get the menu back up now for my spells? Accio. Incendio. Repair. Accio. 
As I say, use the spell items first, put the spell set, and add the incendio. Now, hover over incendio and tap the face. The other button that faces you. Well, it's strange how I'm doing that, it's not even letting me do nothing. And tap your first button to place. <coughs> <coughs> So if we put you Rebellion. Incendio. Accio. Lumos. Repairo. Accio. Incendio. Well, I've, had, I've added the spell, but we won't even move. Rebellion. So why won't it let me move? Well, let me continue. <laughs> uh, it might be something out of the research. This is the way I've got to upgrade the book. Hmm. 
No. This is something that I need to f try and figure out. Oh, what collections have we got? Unless this is trying to tell me something. Use the spell or item first by adding it to your spell set. Add incendiary now. Hover over and tap the obvious face button. You would like the place roll. Well, I'm going to place it there. So I placed it. But nothing has changed. <laughs> so we're just going to have to continue now. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. I've already done that, so why you want it? Right, two minutes guys, I'm gonna quickly have a quick look on YouTube and see if you can help me out a second and see if I can get rid of that menu. Give me a second, I'll be uh, right back. Right, okay, so just a quick look on YouTube now. Uh, I forgot. What did you say we got going? Right, 
Revelio. Some reason I need to get that. All right, two seconds. YouTube always comes in handy when you're playing it for the first time, but for some reason, I don't know how I get that. Oh, I gotta go and buy it. Okay, gotta do it through the story, so unfortunately it looks like we're gonna have to put it with our box for a bit. So we'll head back to Sebastian. <coughs> we'll get there eventually. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I better follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Okay, what's next? Rebellion! See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rattle us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. 
Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, <coughs> spells are free. Give it a try. Okay. Failed that one. Try again. Not as easy as it looks. Right, that has disappeared now. Which is good. Prefects might be able to as well. Be careful. It's It's not as easy as it looks. I'm not going to abort it. Right again. I'll be quieter than a job and all. Be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be alright. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, 
Here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. This is getting funner and funner. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Oh yeah, you're gonna get me up as well? So difficult after all. How to find that book? Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Might let me do it a couple of times. Okay. <coughs> that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. Should be in the clear. No need for us to be scolding about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given her. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. 
Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. gets the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? Just the spell to repair this armor. Lumos. Prepare. Uh, we're getting further and further into this library. Do is how big the restricted section actually is. Of course, traces of ancient magic. <coughs> there must be more to this one. Keeper. Where might this lead? Ooh, we're getting further and further. I'm still going to be undercover just in case. Repair. I wonder if I can hit the 
the room with a spell. Surprising. Guards at the ready. forward, but to where?
Revenio. Try again. I've got to complete this now before I can move on. What's it trying to tell us? You want <coughs> to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham? Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. 
I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Well, that explains everything. No wonder they don't want to see it. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> No, I gotta get out of there. Guys, I'm just sneezing like a trooper again because it's just too hot tonight in my room. Or should I say, my office. So we're going to go back now and see the professor. And then we are going to save it and we're going to call it a night.
You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... <coughs> Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still... I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now Master I have to take Gap. it with me to Between London. The, train and the, the headmaster has insisted yeah, that I speak directly like... to the minister Hopefully about George's it. death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spellcasting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Okay, we're on my way. <laughs> Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive skill. <coughs> Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Roger that. Where is she to? So it's the world map. Ooh. It's quite big actually. Now. Oh, I'm not doing that yet. Right. 
Okay, so go go back up. Yeah, I think we'll head to a laboratory. Go to pathology and then do what we gotta do it and then I think we'll call the night. Let's go we'll access that. Okay, we're we'll going now down. Is it? Yep, downstairs we go. Try running. Learning. <laughs> the words were meant. What are we doing? Here we are. A large. This is Professor Sprout. Punches onion again. The inquest. Morning, Professor Garlic. How oh. wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward New to growing rose. together. Is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <coughs> <coughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. That was fun. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Well, that was fun. Not. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. <laughs> you can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Mm, okay. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch <laughs> your enthusiasm. How kind of you. 
It seems you're already taking to Herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Mm, okay. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. <coughs> Nifflers fancy or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Once it can be harvested, your Disney will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, mm. and mind your fingers. They do bite. Mm, okay. Thanks for the heads up. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Okey doke. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your jewel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages up it, and they'll do the rest. Here to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the de gnoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that have your back in a fight. I'm not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup. Even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Death Cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Okie dokie. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. <coughs> uh, nope, we got everything. Uh, yep, back to class. Oh, 
was quick, wasn't it? And with that helpful oh, reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okie dokie, will do. Right, so let's just get out of this. Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Alright, so where's Okay, back in the great hall. My parents said there's something in there. I just all like Alright, so where's next? Okay, let's head to potions class. And then we're gonna be calling it a night. Someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. Professor Sharp's desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the copy of the belly. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. So far, I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. Okay. okay. 
My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. <coughs> Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Yeah, why not? I'll get you the fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fruit feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. <coughs> Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion stations organized. I don't think I found you at this time. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the four feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurance potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Okie dokie. I'll wait to see it. Where is my workstation? Right. Precision is potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Get it! Oh! Professor Sharp has done What happened? Well done. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan Mild potion. Oh! You're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. Mm, see you okay. soon, no doubt. Yep, see you again. A well-prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions on hand. Right. So we're I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. <laughs> uh... I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was... Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. 
The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Mm, fabulous. Thank you. All right. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Good. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, my robes are going to reap from Garrus' inspiration. You're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Thank you. Alright, where's the common room? second where we are at the minute so I don't lose my progress. Right then guys, I'm going to leave it at that now. Because uh, the time has gone a bit on. I only planned a two hour stream tonight but I've gone over by 40 minute, uh, 48 minutes. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. A couple of mistakes made. Graphics are uh, holding up shortly. Right, I am off now and I will be back with uh, Hogwarts Part 3 uh, sometime next week. So keep, please keep your eye out on the Facebook page as I will put the announcement up uh, whatever day I'm going to do it and what time I'm going to start. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Good night and bye for now.